Um, January 25th, 1982, um, gymnastics accident, cheerleading accident. I was flipping off of someone's back and I didn't make it all the way around. I hit my chin on the mat. Jennifer Broadhurst from Centralia, Illinois, and um, C6 incomplete spinal cord injury. Um, I was in a roto bed for five months and then I got moved to a regular bed and they started regular therapy, um, range in motion, just being able to sit up, getting used to sitting up again. Went home, was, was not independent by any means. My mom helped me a lot. And then about four years later, five years later, I went out to Craig Hospital in Denver, Colorado and learned how to be independent out there. Uh, because I'm incomplete, and before I came out here, I have feeling all the way down, like light touch feeling. Um, no fine motor skills in my hands. Um, I can't tell hot and cold on my legs, and my sensation of pain is different. It's pressure, not pain. Everyday life is, you know, just getting dressed living on my own, raising my son, working. My first thought was, my injury's too old, they're not gonna be able to, and they said it didn't matter how old the injury was. So of course that gives you all kinds of new hope. They offer physical therapy, I do that. Um, strength, they are, because of my stomach muscles, they're working on strengthening my core and using what is there and helping that. I do acupuncture, I do electric wave therapy, standing therapy. After my very first IV, uh, my very first treatment was through IV, and that night I could start moving these fingers. And the doctors were very happy to see that. I hoped to get anything back in my hands, which I have. My sensation, my um, when they touch you and they say, you know, they touch my face and then they, does this feel the same, you know? So that is lowering. I feel my stomach muscles beginning to work. I think it's my upper stomach muscles. So that will help a lot with balance and trunk control and sitting up straighter. And, and that's what I had hoped for. They're, they're very nice. They're very good at making sure you understand, like, you know, when you're getting ready to get a treatment, how it's going to be administered. They make sure you understand the protocol. They go over it with you, you know, this many hours before your treatment, no food and water this many hours after. If you have any kind of problem, you know, they're right there looking at you and making sure that it's okay. The translators are going to take care of you. They work really, really hard to make sure you're okay. Uh, don't be afraid to venture out a little bit. They have very good drivers here that take care of you. You just have to keep focused on why you're here. It's not a vacation. It's not a luxury trip. You're out here for a reason and you have to keep that in mind. I'm going to continue with therapy and continue with working out. I know the doctors are really hopeful because I've had results so soon that I will continue to have even more results.